Aquarius Pisces Cusper. Welcome to your reading for April 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just dive right in, you guys. As soon as I consciously switched and connected to your energy, the emotion just came flooding through. And it's interesting because um, uh, the Pisces Aries Cuspers there there was a lot of emotion in that reading too and it makes perfect sense now the thing about it the funny or the cool thing i guess we should say is i did pisces aquarius i'm sorry pisces aries first and now i'm circling back around aquarius pisces is the last one i'm doing and i'm back in that emotional energy now for some of you this is there is love involved in this or there is something that you really really love something that you really thought you loved something that you really thought you enjoyed that is now that is toxic and has been toxic and now you are having to choose you are having to go in a new direction you have the first card out was the two of wands after that was the devil but the devil is in reverse the devil is in reverse here because i feel like at this point it should be fair blatantly blatantly obvious to you that this situation is toxic and it's only been hurting you all along and it's only going to continue to hurt you moving forward so i feel like a lot of the sorrow that is a de that is dealing that is wrapped up in this situation for you is the fact that you're aware that you have there's no other choice but there's no other choice only because you're fully fully aware of how, just how toxic this energy or this situation or this cycle has been for you and if you want any better in your life you know that you are going to have to choose to go in a different direction now with that said your overall energy in the pre-shuffle is the page of cups and this is the dreamer energy in this circumstance or this situation for you spirit is saying to you do not focus on anything else other than your dreams your goals so take this nasty toxic narcissistic situation if it does involve narcissism for you take this toxic situation learn from the contrast and use that to propel you towards what it is you truly dream of or at least whatever more whatever whatever clearer understanding of what your dreams are would be at this point you don't have to have it all figured out in order to move forward but focus on your dreams and spirit is saying very specifically take what it is you've learned from this toxic situation and use that to your advantage oh yeah look there's that five of cups but the five of cups is coming out here right now spirit is saying guys don't spend too much energy Cry, wasting your energy crying over what has spilled over or spilled out because ultimately what has spilled out was toxic all is not lost here because you still have these two cups behind you okay right sure that doesn't mean that you have a new relationship right now there could be a new relationship on the horizon but you've got to do some healing first okay all right aquarius pisces cusp oh there's the devil again Guys, don't go back to this devil energy. Yes, I know it's familiar. I know it's comfortable. But really, when you think about it, how comfortable is it really? It's only comfortable because it's familiar. Don't go back to this. Please, 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 you guys do not go back to this. Because even when you go back, if you go back to this, you are willingly, consciously accepting this toxic energy again. And at that point, that's when it has more potential to do even more damage to you than before because you are willingly consciously accepting this energy and that makes the karmic retribution that much stronger it's one thing to get involved into a situation without fully knowing exactly what that doesn't what exactly what it means or exactly what it is or exactly what's going to where it's going to lead you some situations yeah that could be a bait and switch you were lied to you were deceived okay you're going to get some karmic retribution anyway but when you go into that, when you willingly accept this toxic energy, that only makes the karma stronger. All right? Do not go back to this. Woo! All righty. Knight of Wands. I feel like this is confirmation for someone that this person is not reliable or whatever this situation is that you're the toxic situation that you're moving out of they're not reliable they're wishy-washy 
They're here one second, they're gone the next. They're changeable. They may tell you one thing and be really super gung-ho and passionate about it, but then next thing you know, at the snap of a finger or at the drop of a, a drop of a hat, they've changed their position. But they only ever go with something that is going to serve them. Did you hear me? Let me say that again. They are only going to accept or go forward with something that serves them. Or that they feel is right at that time. Okay? This may even be someone that's, that's a charlatan, that's kind of... Um, trying to make it look like they are in they are acting from a place of being of service to others when that may not necessarily be the 555 on the counter that may not be the case i feel like they're really just doing it for their own benefit all right all right aquarius pisces cuspers let's get into the rest of the situation here for you hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarius Pisces cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. Look, being in a Pisces and Aquarius cusp is putting you guys in a little bit of a unique position because you're so collectively oriented, okay? You want to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And you may even see some sort of activated, enlightened energy which within someone or something, a circumstance maybe, and you want to support them, you want to encourage them, but what you're what you're failing to recognize is that this person is or this situation is not grounded, is not rooted. And they still may be very much uh, approaching whatever this is for you from a, an egoic point of view, which would make them extremely changeable. Whatever the ego says is right, whatever whim the ego wants to feed into right now that's gonna ultimately feed it, that's where this person is gonna go. That's what this person is going to pursue. I understand you are inclusive, you wanna give everyone the benef uh, benefit of the doubt, but you need to zoom out and look at this situation from the bigger per picture perspective recognize the ungrounded nature of whatever this is you're you're desiring to continue dealing with and then act accordingly and for some of you that's where the sorrow comes in because you know you're going to have to break ties two three for my aquarius pisces cuspers four And the five skis. All right. Itchy nose. Okay, here we go. Boop. All righty. Wait, let me sip some coffee first. Mm -hmm. Overall energy. The Wheel of Fortune. Fates are changing. Destiny is changing. You know, I really feel, yeah, this is a closing of a cycle for you guys. It almost feels as if you are being, you're being reassigned by the universe is what this really feels like. That's kind of the image that I'm getting. It's like, uh, cause I'm perceiving someone here being in a very elevated, righteous energy, trying to do right by the world, do what's right for themselves, do what's right for others. And the universe has you kind of like tucked away in this nice little safety space as things shift around you. 
Underneath the Wheel of Fortune woo, is the Ace of Swords. You've come to a new realization lately that is allowing you to, to make this shift. There's another 10 under this Ace of Swords. It's the Ten of Swords. You can't deny this anymore. You can't run from this anymore. You can't hide from this anymore. Whatever whatever realization you have here is closing out a cycle or you're or 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 a cycle is naturally closing out and you're gaining a real realization here from it. And I think the strongest realization here for you is the greater sense of balance <laughs> that is coming into your world now that th something is closing out. Let's get into it. First set of surrounding energies for you. Five of wands. I feel like this is internal conflict. This is you saying, but wait a second, I know I can help this person. Isn't this part of my job? And the universe is saying to you, yes, this is part of your job, but that doesn't mean you have to put yourself at risk. You don't have to put yourself in danger. You don't have to involve yourself in low vibrational, vibrational destructive energies just in order to serve your mission. Five of wands is coupled with the world. You're really having trouble with this closing out. It might have been that this is a situation that you've been in for a long time. 1111. It might also be something that is very near and dear to your heart. It's something maybe, maybe that has grown on you. And yet, it's time to let this go. I'm hearing you're a teacher. You're a healer. You're going to have to move around. Once the situation is done, once the healing is complete, then it's time for you to move on to the next cycle, to the next phase, to the next job. And you're having trouble with that. Someone is having trouble with that here. And, and this might be, you might be very new to this healing modality or healing, healing um, reality. And not quite comfortable yet with the transitory nature of it. You got to go where you're needed. But also, for some of you, you're really moving out of a toxic situation. So this actually could very well be, ha very well have been like your first assignment. The first assignment that really got you grounded and started to show you toxicity firsthand. And it might have been something that you got pretty attached to because in order to really learn the lesson effectively, you had to be in it for a while. And now it's finally closing out. It's finally coming to completion. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, and the World. Three, t three cards of completion here of a big thing. And that's a big change that's coming through with it as well. Second set of surrounding energies for you. The Seven of Swords. Deception. And I feel like there are people around you and part of, associated with the situation that are trying to keep you there. They're being deceptive. Or this was a deceptive situation all along. Seven of Swords is coupled. Oh, well, yeah, also, yes, I'll get into that in a second. But I'm also picking up that you learned a very strong lesson in terms of deception. Lies, cheating, backstab, betrayal. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Whatever this deception was, it helped you build a better foundation. This is, I really do feel like this was like your first lesson as a healer, as an energy worker, as a transmuter, as a light worker, all that kind of all those kind of buzzwords, right? And spirit was like, look, we're not even we're not gonna sugarcoat anything. Let's just let's just prime you for the real work that's ahead. Okay. Your challenge. The Emperor. Ooh. Being a strong individual, being in control, being the master of your own domain. Excuse me, being the leader, the father figure, the guide, the teacher, the disciplinarian, maybe even uh, uh, integrating a sense of discipline. And that sense of discipline comes in by you recognizing the deceptive nature of something or you seeing something from a higher perspective, seeing it as it truly is, and making the hard decisions accordingly. Compassion is not, well, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a level of compassion, but like emotion really has nothing to do with this. Because if it had to do with emotion, you would stay. But by seeing things from a higher perspective and recognizing the lesson and the meaning of everything, I mean, there's really only one choice to be made. And your challenge is to be the executive or be the master of your own domain, be in that power position, be in that pull position to make that 
hard, make that tough call. The emperor is coupled with the page of wands, having to re-identify yourself or sending a passionate message, having the strength and the power to send that passionate message, change in direction. Mm -hmm. Changing the game, changing your alignment, changing your affiliation. And that's a difficult decision to make. I mean, this literally could just be an element of you've just been in this situation or with these people for so long. It's like, I can't abandon them now, but you're not. You're moving forward to the next phase of your life, the next phase of your mission. Which means you're going to have to let things go and you're going to have to cut some narcissistic ties is what I'm hearing. All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you. Eight of Swords. Mm. Trapped. I just heard feeling lost again. Why are you feeling lost? There's no reason for you to feel lost. Look, you have the Eight of Swords right there. Not the Eight. The Ace. I'm sorry. The Ace of Swords right there. There's no reason why you should feel lost. You've got the understanding. The epiphany. The aha moment. Moment. So instead of feeling lost or trapped or stuck, use this Ace of Swords to cut you free. I What I feel like this is meaning for you guys is like you feel trapped, you feel stuck, like you like the decision you have to make is not one that you want to make. And so you're, 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 you're wrapping yourself up in your mind. I, 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 don't do that. See this from a higher perspective. Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords recognize that this situation is is numbing you down tying you down is toxic is narcissistic is painful is backstabbing is deceptive cut yourself free from that eight of swords is coupled with yeah the two of swords but you see the two of swords has been coming through a lot lately and, it, and it's been representing a good energy it's been representing Keeping your blinders on, not giving in to something that's toxic. But for you guys, the two of swords here is denial. If you find yourself mentally trapped somehow, you are only doing that to yourself. Because ultimately, you have the knowledge and the wisdom that you need to make this decision. But it's like you're purposefully ignoring it because you don't want to deal with the pain that's going to come from disconnecting. But you are only, in a sense, you are only further trapping yourself here. Okay? So let go and let God, is what I just heard. Okie dokie. Let's close this out for you. And get you some oracle guidance here, yeah? For my Aquarius Pisces Cuspers, let's get your oracle guidance. One more, one more shuffle. And let's see what Oracle Guidance we have for you to close this out here, yeah? Awareness. I almost wanna stop there, but I am gonna get one more for you. Look, guys, awareness, Ace of Swords. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. But I feel like you guys are already quite aware of exactly what is going on around you. Okay? And you have to act accordingly. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. One last card, please, Spirit. For my Aquarius Pisces Cuspers. Oh, you get two more cards. You have partnership and you have patience. Some of you do want a partner and then, oh my God, look at this. You have healer at the bottom of the deck. I told you, some of you are he your healers. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Some of you are looking for a partner. Some of you are looking for a business partner. Some of you are looking for a romantic partner. 
but you have partnership teamwork will give you a better result find trustworthy people to partner with build up a talented support team but if you're going to do that you need to be patient pause before you take action trust that divine timing is at work be patient and play whilst you wait okay so there you have it guys oh and i just heard trust your intuition okay so there you have it Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Bye.